That was cool how the piano was matching the vocals. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and welcome back to another reaction video. In these style videos, I try to break down and analyze all of your favorite songs so you can enjoy them just a little bit more. If you want to check out my music, it's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen, and let's see what we got. If you Also, if you want to text me with any requests just to say what's up or anything like that, you can text me at 631-250-6950. Numbers in the description if you want to check it out. Let's see what we got. This is Only You, live at oh Apple Music. So I've talked about that a, a whole bunch of times, that the uh, the way that the crowd is being picked up is likely not actually from their microphones. It's probably something from a, what's called a crowd mic. And they, have, if you've never been to a concert, they have these mics usually, and they're usually in the front of the, the crowd, um, but they're kind of arced out over to pick up what the crowd is singing. Otherwise, it just wouldn't sound right coming from their mics. We are so excited to perform a few new songs from LM5. So, but first, it's only you. <laughs> so did you see how she took out her... her um, in your monitor. So the in your monitors, let's talk about that really quick. The in your monitors are, uh, they help you hear what you're singing. And because it, when you sing live, there's a lot of distortion, there's a lot of a natural room reverb, there's a lot of things going on. This the crowd singing, especially if the crowd is like either off time, like not completely in sync with you and, and, and the band. Um, there's a lot of reasons you would want to do that. It's also better for your ears because you can keep them at a lower volume as opposed to floor monitors, which really have to push the sound out and have to be really loud to compete with everything else. So it's also to prevent ear damage. Um, that being said, it's you want to hear it, they they're, they're sound canceling because you don't hear the outside. So you want to be when, if you want to hear the crowd sing, you want to hear how you think you sound through the the, the, the monitors, uh, like the actual sta like stage. That's a couple of the reasons that you'd want to pull them out. So she's speaking to the crowd, so she wants to hear the crowd, so she wants to pull it out. Um, but when you use in ears, you have to trust your sound guide to trust it actually sounds good out there because it, it's like a very different sound inside of your monitors than it is outside. So you have to trust that you have a good sound guy. Really nice slap back delay on her vocals. I, I really, I'm, I'm finding these really cool. These like piano and acoustic guitar based versions. Like just this, I would say like acoustic pop style versions. Uh, which also shows that their music translates well. So a good song can be played with a full production, with an acoustic guitar, with a piano, and if it translates well to all those different versions, it's a good song. When the streets are crying, ooh, that was cool how the piano was matching the vocals. It's a really interesting lyric right there. Once upon a time we had it all somewhere down the line, we lost it. I think that's pretty just well written and well said. And it's, I'd say a stereotypical thing to say, like not stereotypical, but, but a very, um, I guess, cliche thing to say, but they said it in a non-cliche way, which is refreshing. You can hear the song building up with the kick drum kind of building the floor and the floor. Uh, really good ad libs as well. A oh, very cool transition. String section sounds really nice, and it's. A, I like how they didn't overuse the strings, because um, sometimes you can like oh just overuse them and put the two. There's just too much of them, but I like how they're in the background, uh, adding to the song instead of just like you know overpowering the song. Well, I 
I like how for the chorus it, it kind of comes back down and then like the first verses are the big part. I think that's cool. performance of them recently and I was commenting on how they you know it can be a little awkward just standing up there um in front of like you know all of these people and like if you're especially if you're not singing um but they, they look a lot more comfortable in this performance even though when they're not singing than they did in the last one and it just comes with time this bossa nova kind of feel to it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, you can leave a comment if you want me to react and break down any of your favorite songs if you have any requests. You can also text me at 631-250-6950. Uh, uh, it's a new number. Sorry, I almost said the old number. You text a new number. I'll see you guys next time if you want to check out my music. It means a lot to me. Peace out. We were young when we met, I remember. Told you then, tell you now, you're my forever. Take my hand, everything will be with ten years today, a hundred more I pray. Holding hands and always my forever and always looking back always seems so beautiful. From nervous days to all.